good morning everybody how's everybody doing so far on this fabulous weekend well I don't know what it's going to be like next weekend by the time you watch this but <laughs> yeah we got us a little bit of snow here this morning when we left this early morning I didn't film anything because it was dark but here we are a couple of hours down the road already well about two and three quarter hours for sure and we're just giving her we're almost up to uh, Alexandria Minnesota and uh, yeah Ooh, uh, yeah it's starting to uh, disappear though like the uh, clouds and all that just talking to the wife there a little bit ago and she said it's nice and sunny in Manitoba so I guess that's what we can expect here pretty soon and expect to start seeing some kind of some kind of sunshine coming up that would be fantastic but we are right on schedule this morning we left bright and early so we should be able to get us a good hard day's work in today and that's what my plan was you know I left quarter to six this morning so we should be able to be in uh, Canada probably around six o'clock this evening if everything goes according to my plan anyways but that's a remainder to be seen right Anything can happen, anything can change, as we have found out over the years of driving. Yeah, anything can happen. All of a sudden there is a big wreck somewhere and the highway could be shut down. I could have a problem with the truck and I could be shut down. <laughs> yeah, there's numerous of things that can go wrong. All of a sudden we could get a snowstorm and the road could be closed. There's all kinds of things that can happen. And then we went inside and had us uh, breakfast. 
Yeah, I was getting kind of hungry, so uh, yeah, this uh, six ounce beef steak. Yeah, some eggs and uh, hash browns. And a fantastic breakfast. And here we are. Now we are back on the road again. Hammer down. We got nice sunshine right now at the moment. That's right. But what more could you ask for? Having a beautiful sunshine. Better than snow, rain or ice rain and driving in wintry conditions. Nice dry highway not really windy at all out here today had a little bit of a breeze but nothing nothing major compared to what we had a couple of days ago up there in Ohio or Pennsylvania when I did that uh, microphone wind test there you know that was crazy <laughs> that was super windy up there at that day that was for sure and, uh, yeah I'm still happy that I bought that mic. Um, I use it almost every single day. I don't usually use it for driving down the road because I want you to be able to hear the engine and all that a little bit. So I just use the standard uh, basically mic that the GoPro has got built in. But then when I close my show, usually at the end of the day, that's usually when I put the put that mic on because uh, I don't really like that APU unit song in there as sound in there all the time so that blocks it out uh, quite a bit it doesn't block it out all the way but it does block it out a little bit more so that's good but other than that yeah we're just working hard today that's the plan anyways. Well ladies and gentlemen, we are now off the interstate. We have turned on to Highway US 281 now. Yeah, that's right. Which is currently a double highway too. There is some stretches where it is single highway, but uh, for the most part it's a pretty good highway up here. Yeah. It's got pretty good speed limits on it too. Right here it's like 70 mile an hour speed limit. I think that's pretty good for some back roads uh, out here in North Dakota. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of flatlands up here though. You don't really see a whole lot of good interesting things up here. But uh, hey, I figured I'd show you anyways. No matter what try and put some kind of video together for you guys been uh, driving now for over six hours got just exactly 600 kilometers behind me right now so that means we got about 440 maybe 430 kilometers to the border that means about another four hours and we'll be at the border if we don't uh, stop anywhere which I might do anyways I might stop somewhere yet have a little bit of a break mind you I did have breakfast there earlier this morning but uh, yeah, every once in a while you feel like stopping and just walking around a little bit yeah getting out of the driver's seat for a few minutes you know that's the way I feel about it too, you know, at least, you know, I, uh, I like to get out of the driver's seat every once in a while and just go for a little walk. Walk around the truck a little bit, walk around the truck stop, go inside, use the restroom, and just feels like then you, uh, you're energized again about going back out and driving again, you know. But yeah, we might have another, uh, maybe six hours worth of driving yet uh, still to do it's very possible if I want to go up there to Weyburn Saskatchewan it's a good chance that that's uh, a 
long we're going to have to drive yet in order to make it up there. That's right. But other than that, it's just been a gorgeous day, no? Just giving her here, cruising right along, you know? Well, it's been pretty much three hours, or just about, yeah, I would say but just about three hours since we, uh, we had that breakfast there earlier. So that's, uh, that's been some hard work, that's for sure. Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and see what those kind of goodies we'll be able to show you. Alright, here we are coming into Carrington, North Dakota. Yeah! In about three quarters of a mile, we're going to make a left-hand turn onto US 52. And also right there at that corner is where... Uh, there's a little truck stop, but look at here to the right. Look at that, a nice Indian uh, statue up there. Yeah, I've always been wanting to film that. Never gotten around to doing it. So here we are. We are in the middle, northern part of North Dakota. And I know uh, there's another Penner driver. I know uh, Scott's wife, Lisa. She's from the northern part of North Dakota up there close by Minot and it is uh, a little bit north of the highway that I'm going to be going on but uh, she might be very familiar with this area or maybe even Scotty and them are all familiar with this area or maybe a little bit further down the road closer to uh, Minot, North Dakota. They might be very familiar with that area so we might try and uh, videotape a little bit of that area so uh, they have some good memories from over there that's right yeah they rebuilt this uh, truck stop up here in 500 feet turn left last on year as 52 I'm just looking it looks like there's another penner truck right in there well, there's a lot of penners out here all of a sudden <laughs> yeah I'm supposed to turn right here but in order to get to the truck stop, I gotta turn over here. So, we'll go in here. We'll find us a parking spot. I don't plan on stopping here very long. I just wanna go in here and for 13 miles. use the restroom and then uh, get out of here again. I might just pull right through the pumps here and then uh, quickly go in and do my thing and bring my logbook up to date and then we'll be out of here. So uh, I guess we'll uh, cut the clip here now and then uh, we'll be back in a few. I am just coming in to, guess what, Minot, North Dakota, yeah. I told you guys earlier I was going to show you a little bit of Minot, North Dakota, especially for Scotty and Lisa. They are very familiar with this area up here. That's right. It has changed a little bit, not dramatically I guess, but it has changed a little bit. And yes, I am still driving behind that penner that was uh, just leaving the truck stop there earlier when I was leaving and I see a smoky bear over there he got himself a capture looks like he pulled himself over a four-wheeler pickup over there I don't know if you see that in the camera but there to the left there uh, in the intersection there to the left that's where he's got himself a capture that's right. Oh well. He's busy. So I guess we'll just get out of here. Before he's not busy anymore and comes after me, right? <laughs> well, I don't think I did anything wrong, so... He would have no reason to come after me, right? But they say they don't need a reason to come after you. Because you're a commercial vehicle. 
they can pull you over for no reason at all and just do an inspection on you and that's the truth for a four-wheeler I think they gotta have some sort of reason but for a commercial vehicle they don't have to have a reason and that's the fact yeah you don't need to have no reason to pull over a semi but we're not going to try and give him any reason anyways to try and pull me over that's right we still have 514 miles to go to our final destination but we're a long way from there yet <laughs> We already got 861 kilometers in today, so we'll probably do another, well, maybe two or three hours, uh, probably even three, maybe even a little more, and then we'll be finito for today. We got exactly one hour and 45 minutes to the border right now, so just shy of four o'clock, so that means, uh, well, five quarter to six six o'clock we'll be crossing the border that's right so hopefully there won't be uh, much of a lineup over there so that way we have a smooth sailing right through there and then we'll be in Canada and soon as we get into Canada we get an additional two hours but we'll see we'll see if I actually go up to Weyburn I'll see if there's parking at the Husky, maybe in Esteban. Maybe I just call it a day over there. I haven't quite decided yet. We'll see when I get there how tired I am. Esteban is about half an hour away from the border. So if I get to the border at quarter to six, I get sailing right through there. Should be out of there by six or before six. So by 6.30 I should be in Esteban. Well, it's still fairly early though and it is uh, an hour behind us I believe right now in Saskatchewan I don't know 100% for sure I haven't been in there in such a long time I don't remember if they I think in summer they're the same time as us because Saskatchewan doesn't change time time zone like they don't change their times so uh, I think in winter they're one hour behind us so we get there 6.30, it's only going to be 5.30 their time, right? So if that's the case, it might still be bright and early. The sun might still be up. So I might just decide to go down to Weyburn if I have enough time. I'll look at the GPS later on and see how far it is from, uh, from the border to Weyburn. And See if I can actually make it down there with my 13 hour limit. Yeah. Well, the way it looks like right now, I might be right around 10 and a half to 10 and three quarter hours by the time I get to the border. So I should be okay. I might still have two to two and a quarter, maybe even two and a half hours left by the time I get into Canada. So I should be able to get up there. That's the plan anyways. But we do have a little bit of a flying J up here to the right. Not right here, but a little like a mile down the road here. Or half a mile, I guess. As soon as we get through this intersection here, then we'll be seeing that flying J. Yeah, designated sober driver. Okay. Let's I guess I uh, am sober. Oh, look at that four-wheeler. He was spinning a little bit there, having a little bit of fun. They're driving in the mud. <laughs> yeah, see, this is where that Flying J is at. 203, that's what the diesel is up here. It's actually not too shabby. Nice little Flying J up here. I don't think they got a restaurant in there, but they do have a subway. And they do have a look at a little hot hot plate or hot meal or whatever you want to call it in there. But that's it. That's pretty much uh, Minot, North Dakota for you. Yeah. Let's continue on cruising along here. And we'll show you what we can, right? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
We are now officially back into Canada. We are in Saskatchewan. That's right. The great country of Canada. That's what I would like to say. It's a fairly smooth uh, border crossing today. No major issues. And the sun is finally popping through again there earlier uh, when we were going through uh, Minot, North Dakota there. It was uh, pretty cloudy and I thought the sun was going to go down early today but right now the sun is way up there yet so uh, we might be okay. A-okay I guess. So I've got my GPS set to go up to the Coop in uh, Redburn, Saskatchewan and it's uh, 125 kilometers to go yet as of right now. So that's about an hour and a half driving. So we should have no problem making it up to there. I used the uh, 10 and a half hours to make it up here to the border. So our ten and three quarters, ten and three quarter hours. That's what I used up to here. So we still have uh, two and a quarter hours left to go. So I could actually go a little further than Weyburn, but from there to uh, Ostra, there ain't nothing there, and uh, I think it's too far to make it up to Ostra. So uh, we're probably going to end up in Weyburn tonight. That's right. So let's get on down the road and let's see what else we'll be able to show you. I am coming into Vapor, Saskatchewan. Look at that, there's Tim Hortons right there. It says two kilometers or two miles, two minutes down the road. Yeah. Although we gotta go all the way through Vapern to get to the truck stop. It's all the way on the other side of town. Actually a little bit out of town even. But, oh, that sun is bright today. Yeah, we're just going right into the sun now too. But I figured I would show you guys a little bit of Eburn. Yeah. You got a little bit of a river there. And look at these things that they got up here. Oh, that's hard to see that light. It's still green from what I can see. Yeah, that it is. But it is a bit difficult to tell if it's green or red. <laughs> well, that one you can see better now. The next light here we got red. But up here to the left, we got like a service road going alongside these hotels up here. And trucks are actually allowed to park up there. I see trucks in there all the time. And that's where they got a KFC. They got an asshole over there, they got McDonald's over there. I believe they do have Tim Hortons in there as well. Stuff like that, you know. But yeah, we gotta go all the way past this yet, and then uh, we'll get to that Coop uh, gas station or truck stop, I guess. And that's where we're gonna call it a day. We already got 1138 kilometers in today. So that is a very big day for me. That's already 700 miles that I've driven today. Now well, that's a hard working day for me. That's for sure. Yeah, so that's where the KFC is. I don't know what they all got up there by that asshole, but you got something there by the asshole. All kinds of hotels alongside here. Yeah, so here we are. The town of Weyburn. I don't know why they call it Weyburn, but maybe some of you out there can tell me. You never know. This is one thing that you always see up here in Canada. You'll see railway tracks everywhere crossing the roads. That's right. They got a Walmart up here to the left. Always trucks up here on the service road too. Parked here going to the Walmart. Stuff like that. 
very nice, very nice setup. So people can go in there and park there and go do a little shopping and not be bothered, you know. Still be allowed to do that. Yeah, I think the Tim Hortons, I haven't seen the Tim Hortons. I don't know exactly where it is. Oh, it's right there where that truck is. Yeah, that truck went there to Tim Hortons. Smart man, maybe he wants to drive for a little while yet, but I'm not. I ain't gonna have coffee, I don't think so. Unless I did a, decide to go into the truck stop over there and have me a bite to eat, but I don't think we'll be doing that. Although I don't know for sure, but right now I don't think I will. But yeah, past these signs up there by that light up there. That's where that uh, Cope is so we're gonna go get in the left lane over here because that's where we want to go to and it's not a paved parking lot in there in 300 meters slide the left on highway 13 yeah, and then approach and destination do. on the right side in 300 meters that's right that's where we want to go yeah as you can see the sun is still uh, fairly bright but it probably will go down in the next 45 minutes, probably. So, here we are. We have arrived at our destination. destination in 200 meters, on the right side. That's right. Let's go find us a parking spot and we'll be done for today. behind me that day is gonna come